Esperanza is located in one of the highest density neighborhoods of downtown Los Angeles. I'm the principal of Esperanza Elementary School, just east of the skyscrapers of downtown in the Westlake neighborhood, downtown Los Angeles. Can you write the name and post it under the correct bird? House strange, morning dove, human being starling, blue rose, blackbird, red turtle hawk, American um, crow, crow, hooded um, oreo, um, gray egret, a gray blue heron, and a mockingbird. The students love this. They love charging in here and really getting to know at a very deep, profound level uh, what's showing up in our habitat. We observe, we record, we analyze, we share. All of these are important skills for our students. So at the very bottom, do you see the live spider in there? I'm surrounded by deer weed, native sages, and cilia, uh, but if you go back to 2014, I would have been standing on asphalt. Peel back that asphalt. Uh, allow the dirt to be there, to plant native plants, and create a living laboratory for students to really explore. My name is Ramona Gamino. I like to about it because we come and explore nature and in the garden. What I see in the garden is um, hummingbirds, mockingbirds, and flowers. My name is Jimena Lopez. We're, we're trying to illust illustrate um, poppies and deer grass. The, the California poppy is um, a flower native to California. It was a beautiful thing to have a burrowing owl be discovered by a fourth grade student uh, two winters ago. And even more incredible was that this little owl stayed with us. And so um, I sometimes think of this as a zoo without cages. I think of my students who live in those buildings right across the street. They wake up in a concrete building. They go down concrete stairs. There's a little patch of concrete, maybe to bounce a ball. They walk across a concrete so sidewalk, an asphalt street, another concrete sidewalk, and they come onto a campus which is largely asphalt. Then they go home and they do it again. They need this connection to nature, like every human being. Now they have access to nature right here on their campus.